So with this one, notice that we're dealing with uh, a n equals 10 n squared over 3 to the n. And over here we have 1 over 3 to the n. So that tells me that this is a good place to start. So let's let's decide, um, it, is this thing smaller or bigger than this guy right here? All right now, because we're only dealing with numbers uh, that are greater than or equal to one, Uh, and the fact that 10 in squared over 3 to the n is equal to 10 or 10 in squared times 1 over 3 to the n this thing is this thing has got to be bigger than 1 over 3 to the n right if you think about it right just because we're only dealing with uh, numbers that are greater than or equal or n's that are greater than or equal to 1 so this number here, we're multiplying by more every time. We're multiplying by a number at least as big as 10, right? If n equals 1, then we have 10. If n equals 2, then we have 40. So it's, we're always multiplying by something bigger. So it's got to be the case That, that we have that. So that tells us that oops, I forgot my sum. Okay, so that tells us that we're at least, at least we're somewhere over here. Now let's ask ourselves, could it possibly be the case that We're over here. Is that possible? And so now we're going to do a little bit of argumentation to show that in fact it's not possible. All right, so we're going to suppose something that we're pretty sure is false, right? We're pretty sure that we're right there. But we're going to suppose that we're over here. So Suppose that 1 over n cubed is smaller than 10 n squared over 3, 3 to the n. Well, now if this is true, right? Now, because we're dealing, remember, we're always dealing with things that are greater than or equal to 1, so we mul when we multiply by both sides by, say, n cubed, we don't have to flip the signs. When we multiply both sides by 3 to the n, we don't have to flip the signs, because it's always positive. A positive number cubed is always positive. 3 to a positive is always positive. All right, so we multiply, let's multiply both sides by n cubed first. These will cancel, and we have 1 n cubed times 10 n squared over 3 to the n. So now let's multiply both sides by 3 to the n. Okay, and so now see what happens, right? Um, let's see, I'll write this over here. 3 to the n times 1, that's 3 to the n. Right, and again, like 
these guys cancel. And so then we're left with n cubed times 10n squared. All right, so what does that mean now? Okay, now doing a little more simplification. Excuse me, 3 to the n is less than 10n to the fifth. Remember, same base, you got to add the exponents. This is, this is not true, right? This is not true. No, this cannot be true, right? Remember that exponentials go to infinity faster than powers. And the 10 is, doesn't, uh, is, is, doesn't do anything to the relationship. All right, so it can't be the case, right? It just simply cannot be the case that we have this, that we, that we have this, right? It can't be over there. We can't have that. So if it can't be the case that that happens, then it can't be the case that that happens. And so we're not over there, right? We eliminated that. We eliminated all of these. So it's got to be that. 